Hi, welcome to Nepal Digital Education. Let us look at the problem second. An effort of 500 Newton was applied. So effort, here effort is given. Apply to lift a box of weight 1000 Newton. Load is given 1000 Newton with the help of crowbar. Calculate the mechanical advantage. In this numerical, we have to find the mechanical advantage. We know that mechanical advantage is given by load by effort. And we have effort. Effort is given 500 Newton and load is given 1000, 1000 Newton. So we know that mechanical advantage means load upon effort. Load is given 1000 new, 1000 and effort is given 500. Then it become 2. This is the mechanical advantage of the crowbar. That is 2. So let us look at the next problem. Problem number 3. In this problem, a 1 meter long pole was used to balance 450 Newton of the load by using 150 Newton effort. Calculate the efficiency of the lever if the load is kept load is kept 50 cm away from the fulcrum so this is very important so uh, before solving this type of the problem first of all sketch the rough diagram of the lever so suppose this is lever and this is load this is effort applied and this is fulcrum this is fulcrum this is load this is effort and in this problem we have one meter one meter long pole one meter long so this uh, length of the lever is one meter and if 40 uh, load is given 450 load is 450 load is given uh, load is given 450 newton and if 40 is given 150 newton here efficiency we have to find the efficiency of the lever if the load is kept load is kept 50 centimeter load this load is kept 50 centimeter 50 centimeter away from the fulcrum so low distance is given so we have load 450 450 newton effort 150 150 newton and low distance low distance is given 50 centimeter and here uh, total distance is 1 meter 1 meter means 100 centimeter so low distance is 50 so it become also 50 centimeter so if 4 distance become 50 centimeter we can calculate it just by uh, we have length length given 1 meter 1 meter means 100 centimeter here load distance is given 50 centimeter we can calculate effort, effort distance just by using it means length equal to total length equal to load distance plus effort distance and total length is 100 centimeter and load distance 50 and effort distance we have to find the effort distance so uh, when 50 come this side and become 50 minus 50 four distance so if four distance 100 minus 50 become 50 four means if four distance this is four distance so 50 meter sorry centimeter because it is given in centimeter distance is given in centimeter so it is in centimeter but uh, in this problem number third, we have to find the efficiency, calculate the efficiency. So we have to find the efficiency and we know that efficiency is given by efficiency, efficiency is given by yame by vr into 100. So, so first of all, we have to find yame. Now, yame. Yame equal to load by effort and load is given yes load is given 450 load is given 450 and effort is given effort is given 150 effort is given 150 so 150 so 00 cancel 
it become three. Yam is three, and Vr. Vr means if four distance by low distance, and if four distance is given, if four and low distance is same, fifty fifty. So if four distance is given fifty, low distance is also fifty. So fifty will be cancel and become one. Therefore, if you sense it, eta is given by yam by Vr into hundred percent. So yam is three. Yam is three. Vr is one into hundred. So it become three hundred percent. So this is the required efficiency. So uh, this is the required efficiency of the lever if the load is kept fifty centimeter away from the fulcrum. Let us look at the next problem. Problem four. In this problem, a load of five hundred newton. So load is given five hundred newton is raised by using an effort. Effort is given hundred newton in five pulley system. Calculate the efficiency of the pulley. So we know that efficiency is given by yam by V R into hundred. So to calculate the efficiency, we need the value of yam and V R. So first of all, write the given. So load is given five hundred newton, and if load is given hundred newton and five pulley system. So number of pulley used. Number of pulley, number of pulley used is five. So we have to first of all we have to find the yam. So we know that yam is given by load upon effort. Load upon effort. Load is given five hundred. Effort is hundred. So yam become five. And V R. V R uh, in pulley. V R equal to Number of pulley, number of pulley, number of pulley used. So number of pulley used is five. So now uh, we have to find the efficiency. Now efficiency equal to yam by V R into hundred. Efficiency always calculated in percent. So yam is five, V R is five. Five five cancel become one one into hundred it become hundred it become hundred percent. This is the required efficiency of the pulley system. So let us look at the next problem. Problem number five. So in this problem, velocity ratio of simple machine is forty. V R is given and efficiency is given. Calculate the amount of effort needed to lift a load. Means in this problem we have velocity ratio that is forty. Efficiency is also given eighty percent. Calculate the amount of effort. We have to find the effort to lift a load. Load is given hundred newton. So we know that we know that efficiency is given by Yam by V R into hundred. So efficiency is given at Yam mechanical advantage. Yam Yam means load upon effort. V R is given forty and it is hundred. So at and load is given hundred. Now we have to find the effort by forty into hundred. So just by doing cross multiplication, it become eighty into forty equal to hundred by e into hundred. Then it become eight four zero thirty two zero zero. And when uh, this E comes in multiplication equal to one two into hundred hundred. So we have to find the efficiency. So it become hundred hundred. It is in multiplication, so it goes in this side 
because division so effort become so when we multiply 100 into 100 and again divide with 3 to 0 0 then we get 3.3.125 and effort effort means force supplied so the unit of force is newton so this is the required effort this is the required effort needed to lift a load of 100 newton so let us look at the next problem problem number six in this problem a simple machine has its velocity ratio velocity ratio velocity ratio 40 so velocity ratio br is given to overcome load is given effort is given has to apply to calculate the mechanical advantage and efficiency of the simple machine so in this problem we have to find the mechanical advantage and efficiency so first of all write the given velocity ratio is given 40 load is given 2000 newton effort is given 200 newton calculate the mechanical advantage we have to find the mechanical advantage and efficiency of the simple machine efficiency of the simple machine so we know that mechanical advantage is given by load upon effort and load is given 2000 and effort is given 200 so 0 0 cancel to 10 so it become 10 so mechanical advantage become 10 and we have to also find the efficiency so we know that efficiency is given by efficiency is given by now efficiency is given by yame by vr into 100 so mechanical part is 10 and velocity ratio is given vr is 40 we have uh, vr 40 so it is 40 into 100 percent yes when we calculate it 10 by 40 into 100 it become 25 25 percent this is the required efficiency of the simple machine so in this way we can solve any type of the problem let us look at the next problem problem number seven in this problem we have 80 newton if 80 newton effort is needed to overcome load effort is given load is given in four pulley system calculate the efficiency of the pulley system so in this problem we can uh, first of all write the given effort is given effort is given 80 newton load load is given 800 newton in a four pulley system number of number of pulley number of pulley used equal to 4 calculate the efficiency we have to calculate the efficiency we know that efficiency is calculated by yame by vr into 100 so to find efficiency we need yame yame and vr so first of all we have to find the yame so yame mechanical advantage given by load upon effort load is given 800 and effort is given 80 so 0 0 cancel it change it become 10 and vr vr means in pulley system vr is given by number of pulley used number of pulley used so number of pulley used is 4 so vr become 4 so we know that now uh, we can calculate efficiency just by using yame by vr into 100 and we have yame 10 and vr 4 efficiency is 100 and always efficiency calculated in percent so when we calculate 10 divide 4 into 100 it become 250 it become 250 percent this is the required efficiency so in this way we can solve any type of the numerical problem related to the uh, pulley system this pulley system velocity ratio is given by number of the pulley used this is the important point 
Uh, so we have to remember this. If in a pulley system velocity ratio V R is uh, calculated by velocity ratio equal number of pulley used. So let us uh, move to the next problem. Problem number eight. In this problem we have uh, if uh, if the efficiency of three pulley system. This problem also related to pulley system. Three pulley system means velocity ratio become what? Three. Means VR equal to number of pulley used. And efficiency is given how much effort. How much effort means we have to calculate the effort. And load is given 600 Newton. So first of all write the given means load is given 600 Newton. Efficiency is given 75%. Number of pulley used. Number of pulley used. Number of number of pulley. Number of pulley used is three. So VR become three. And how much effort is needed in these numericals? Uh, we have to find the effort. So in this problem, we have to find the effort. So we know that efficiency equal to Yamme by VR into 100. So efficiency is given 75 a portion and portion cancel and efficiency is given 75 Yamme mechanical and load by effort and velocity ratio is given by the uh, velocity ratio uh, we have 3 into 100. So 75 just doing cross by just doing cross multiplication we uh, get this much and load we have load 600 load is 600 by effort into 100 75 into 3 into e equal to 600 into 100 just by doing cross multiplication this e is in division when it goes this side, it comes in multiplication. So we have to find the effort. So uh, when you multiply uh, 600 into 100, it becomes 2 to 4 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 0. 4 0. And this term in multiplication, so it comes in division 75 into 3. Just calculate it. 60,000 divide 75 again divide with 3 then we get 266.66 effort effort means force supply so you need a force is newton so this is the required effort so in this way we can calculate any numerical problem related to the pulley system